I'm in a relationship with someone, it is not like marriage. It's just been like a long relationship with this person. And I guess two months ago, I asked for a sign because I feel like my relationship is one-sided. So far, I'm not married to him. Supposedly, he wants to do a joint account. I'm not married to him. I'm really comfortable with it. So before that even came about, I asked for... I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I don't know. I've been dating for some time now, right? You've been dating how many years? Four or five? We've been together for 13 years. How old, how old are you? Are you? I'm 32. He's just a little younger than me. I mean, I'm not trying to put my like business out there too much, okay. respectfully, because I know people in the chat like to judge. I'm really just looking for advice, honestly. I ask you to create a joint account. You guys have been together for 13 years. There's no signs of marriage just yet, right? He doesn't want to pop the question. You're 32, you want to get married. But instead of bringing up marriage right now, he's asking, can y'all join your bank accounts together? And you're not comfortable with that. I think it's a no. That, that sounds bizarre to me. I'll allow you to talk now, yeah. Right now, um, I feel that like I suspect infidelity. Like, I feel like he's like so with someone else or dealing with somebody else. And you know what's crazy? That the representative at the bank that I went to, she was just giving me eye contact not to really trust him, which was really like weird to me. It was scary. My whole day, that day was completely off. I've been getting signs from a lot of people, even strangers, when it comes to my person. What was, what was the the right? sign was like, she was trying to push me towards a business account instead. So she was just like looking, giving me complete eye contact, looking at me serious. And she was like, I prefer you to open up a business account, basically. And I'm doing that as of now, but it scared me because she's looking at me like, do not trust him. I took that as a sign. He felt some type of way, like he was being disrespectful because the way that she was talking to him. And What? Ooh, child, things to get brighter. Listen, did y'all catch all that? Well, first thing, yeah, she's 32. She said she's been with this guy for 13 years, and he's younger than that. her a little bit. So if she was 19, how old was he, 17, 16? That's why she said, I ain't going to put all my business out there, but I'm going to leave it at that. If you was 19, he was younger than you. Come 17. on, man. Yeah, but how... how it, 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 there we go, 19. And then on the back end here, she say, Nug Nug say, let's go open up a joint bank account. And they go to the bank, and the people at the bank looking at Nug Nug, he walk in the bank with a shiesty mask on, and they say, is you coming to rob the place? Or open? And she said, we want to open up an account. And that lady say, with him? Why don't you think about opening like a business account where you got 99% ownership and he 1%? <laughs> don't tell him. Don't tell him. <laughs> Yeah, don't, don't, no, checking, no, don't do it. There you go. He, he felt disrespected. Like, he, she said he felt, of course he did. If we could just lay eyes on this individual, it will all make perfect sense. It would all make sense. I know what she said was pretty confusing, you know, a lot of, a lot of blurred lines. But yeah, this young whippersnapper was raking her over the cold some brazy. That's how he got 13 years of no commitment out of her. Let's not get that ever misunderstood. A woman that sticks around for that amount of time without commitment is meat to meet gratification 100% of the time. No questions asked, don't dispute it. So that's why she stuck around. That's why she at the bank, we need drunk. Have we go and do with it. The bank teller was like, oh, she weenie drunk. Ma'am, you might want to open a business account. Yeah, I can see. I can see the weenie juice leaking from your pores. Yeah. <laughs> this is wild. Yeah, she up here. Because you didn't got addicted to penis juice. And now truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. Look at her. That I tell you what, that little chain. She better be careful, man. She sleep wrong. She ended up asphyxiating herself. <laughs> that little took herself out. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, collapse your windpipe bone. I tell you, man. <laughs> says Ali you for someone catch his past. This woman is nuts. All right, here we go. Don't let her keep going for y'all. Do here we go. 
giving him, you know, the eye contact. I took that as a sign. Like, I've been asking for a sign to know if I'm dealing with the right person. I know I've been with this person for this long, but I don't have attachments, which is good. I don't, I'm not attached to him where I'm in love. Give me one second. I'm sorry. Let me turn off my mic. This joint bank account that you guys created is all of your money in that, that account. It's every dollar. Okay. So, hypothetically, he was to run off with the money that, that is in that, that account. Would you be okay? Now there's nothing in that account. I know he's trying to force me to put that money in there, but there's nothing in there right now. So I haven't really like moved forward towards it anyways, but I know he's trying to push me towards that for some reason. And I don't really trust it's, 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 it's not income tax. It's the money that I work for. So, cause I'm self-employed. So, oh, oh. you know, I have my own business and he doesn't. So I know how to save my money. That's all it is. There's nothing in that account. I'm not really moving forward towards it because I really don't trust him. Um, and for people in the chat that's asking me, do I have kids? Yeah. I do with him. I have two. He gave me roses yesterday, and I I kind of sat there and thought back in the past. He definitely did this to me before, but it shows that he you know he cheated on me before. I need to ask you a woman the woman question. If your man give you roses out of nowhere, because that's my third time getting it, and all of a sudden no contact. Does that mean like there's infidelity? Is there cheating? Because after that, I tried to contact him, and I went out that day to you know talk to a friend, and he. Oh. Oh. This is what's wrong. That's why the bar is so low. This woman just said, if your man give you flowers, does that mean he cheated on you? Not all men. We talk about nug nug because you know what they used to. Huh? No bread, no water, just meat. And all of a sudden you walk in with roses. They say, you don't even give me bread and water. And all of a sudden you got roses. <laughs> what is this nug nug? Are these roses because you done been going to pound town on another hood booger? Most likely. Yeah, probably. L listen to this sister up here giving us the tale of getting a weenie drunk off a of Nug Nug's weenie. Look, she just keeps saying, I don't know what he doing. I think it's infidelity. He bought me roses. I don't know what's going on. I'm dazed and confused, Ashley Doan. Please fix my life. And she said this the last sick. time he brought me roses, he did indeed cheat on me. So that was like a, you know, a barter, if you will. I don't know. I can't. I got nothing for it. So that's Nug Nug's giveaway. Nug Nug's dead. A dead giveaway, ladies. Listen, she dropping gems for any woman that deals with Nug Nug. If he okay. gives you roses, he more than likely cheating on you. That's Probably him saying gift. sorry. It, that's it's a, safe a, to a, say a, any gift. Roses, flowers, chocolates. Yeah, most like Nug Nug then done some wrong. I I hope this sister came up here to talk to Ashley, trying to get some advice to stay with this ninja, because she ain't making a case for no new man. She keep talking about the trauma this dude done did to her. Two kids he got out of her. <laughs> what is she up here for? What is she trying to accomplish? Man, and Richard come through with the 20s. And Q with a dude come. He says, Richa, salute, skip. Let's give her the closest. He says, let's give her a closer look at the stars. Oh, Glaze Galaxy, y'all think. Her? Hmm. You know what? Hmm. Glaze Galaxy for this one. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe Space Air. She looked like yeah. she can breathe in space. Look at her. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> she got that. She got that total recall throat. Remember on Total Recall when they get out in the space? And they start, they face start swelling up and they eyes start bulging out and they don't get all wide. Ah, that's her. <laughs> she already halfway there already. Just give her some space there. <laughs> so, yeah. A shout out to Lethal MFG. He says, definitely not finna marry you. Use your common sense. Not even close. 13 years. Not thinking about it. Why would he? Not a slave. Yeah, I know that. This ain't no movie. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why? Seriously, ladies and gentlemen, Nug Nugs and Bone Quishes, why would this young Nug Nug marry her? For what? For what reason? He was with her for thirteen years, got the absolute freshest squeeze. Why marry now? And she all aggressive and broken with that baby chain on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hit the like button. We got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. So here we go. We told y'all earlier, 
we gonna be illustrating a lot tonight. So she sat there and talked about Nug Nug. We gonna show y'all this Negro. All right, come on. I'm trying to tell y'all Nug Nug. Here's my take on Nug, the, the Nug, Mister Nugnificent. He tells the truth. I believe Nug Nug do not be lying to Bonquisha. That's my theory. He tell him straight up, and Bonquisha just go along with the get along. Let's see. <laughs> 